Hello, this is David G. I'm here with Peaches the Buddha Princess, and welcome to this week's Life Tools. This week we explore your spirit guide. What does that even mean? If we believe that there's something bigger than us, something grander than us, something that created all of this magnificence, this magnificence, this magnificence, then we know that there are ways for us to connect to it. We could just say, Aham Brahmasmi, baby, and we are the universe. Or we can truly connect to um, an Ishwara, sort of like a bridge between the universal energy consciousness and our own internal soul, our own internal consciousness that lives in this jiva, this flesh soul body. So if we can awaken our spirit guide or connect to our spirit guide, we can find that connection to our most divine self. Different from an archetype, an archetype is something you invoke to awaken some dormant aspect of yourself. Your spirit guide is with you always. It's your bridge to the unknown, your bridge to the unmanifest, your bridge to the uncertain your bridge to spontaneous right thought, right action, right intention, right word. If we believe that we are these flesh encased beings sealed in these molecules for the span of a lifetime, flawed, misspeaking, misacting, saying things we wish we could take back, doing things we regret, grieving over loss, and then there's this piece of us that's up here. It's our most divine self. It's perfect. It's impeccable. It always says the right thing at the right time. Spirituality is our journey from this flawed human existence to our most divine self. And the bridge, the Gandharva, the messenger between those two worlds is our spirit guide. We need to give it a name. It's with us always. We just have to call upon it. We can give it a color, we can give it a flavor, we can give it a tone, an attitude. Maybe if you feel that God is fire and brimstone, then your spirit guide is a more loving version to help you get to that. If you feel God is Jesus Christ, then your spirit guide could be Mother Mary helping take you there. If you just believe in the universe, then maybe your spirit God is this other type of mythological or force of nature to help you get to that space. So you're never alone. You're always riding shotgun to your spirit guide. And so this week, let's awaken it. Let's invoke and awaken our spirit guide. I've created a, a powerful meditation that you can access for free. Uh, awakening your spirit guide and I encourage you to keep trying to get clear it only comes from stillness and silence it doesn't come from thinking the spirit guide is not in here it's in here deep within when we can quiet ourselves get still and silent it will awaken for us from the sweet spot of the universe this is David G and Peaches the Buddha princess she can be my spirit guide anytime she wants. She teaches me in every moment. Resist nothing and you will receive unconditional love. Hopefully your spirit guide is teaching you amazingly powerful things as well. I'll see you in the gap. Namaste.